reason for my this thing here, yeah, I'm contesting. This is what happened. One guy by the name of Mari Appan. I don't know how come he got my IC. He has already uh, make use of my IC to join a government job. Got married two Indian wives and later converted into Muslim, married a Malay wife. And uh, he was drawing pensions. So when I went and checked my identity, you know, with the uh, insolvency department, I come to understand that I am a bankrupt. So when I took up this matter to the relevant departments, they helped me because they know the problem I am facing. They got everything A to Z until they cleared me from the bank insolvency uh, problem. And even the EPO I caught has given me the green light. But just because I was having some tussle with that Tan Kok Wai and his group in Charas, they found out this, that I am an insolvent. They sent me a letter saying that I have been sacked from the party, which is not acceptable and there is no justice in it. In fact, I am from 1969 and I am the founder member of a few branches in Klang Valley. Uh, Lim Guan Eng, immediately after taking over Pulau Pinang, he called for all the party supporters and the winners and all the, all the people from the branches in Penang. The most important uh, speech, he says, Every assemblyman elected should answer the four calls. calls. Even if the four, you know, miss call, the, I mean the elected representatives must call back. You know, number one. Okay. Those days, when I used to call him, he used to answer. I don't know. And he used to talk to me. He's a nice guy. But when he knows my situation, this particular matter, I called him twice to make an appointment. He refused to answer me. Although the bells are, I mean, the phone is ringing, no answer. But normally he used to call back. He don't call back. Then when I was in Penang, I was in Penang for two, three days, I called him. No, I sent him two or three messages saying that I wanted to see him in his capacity as the Secretary General of the party. Because this is a party matter, you know. And these matters are to be uh, taken over by the party Secretary General. I cannot go to the party to see every Tom, Dick and Harry to proceed with my problem. So he refused to answer. So in this case, I have no faith in him also. Because he didn't keep his promise, he didn't keep his word. And today, when my matter I brought up, I wrote to Karpal Singh, to all the leaders in the party, none of them have responded to my letter. And even Teresa Kok, the chairman for Selengo, she is very adamant, a very rude, and very, uh, what do you call it, every time I call her, she says she's very busy. And she also did not respond to my letter. They check with the insolvency department and the insolvency department have told them that my case, I am not the person who is uh, guilty and they have also cleared me out of insolvency. That means, by right, I am still the DAP man. Ah, okay, this document was signed by one of the office workers, you know. Actually, it should come from the Secretary General or the Disciplinary Committee Chairman or the Organizing Secretary, National Organizing Secretary. But that letter came from a person who I also don't know who he is in the party. They, you know, when I, I did not appeal, but I explained to them 
that I am not the person with all the proofs. But just because they don't want me to come back, they have already, you know, ignoring my letters. They have never responded. So this time, Ronnie Liu, the candidate for Pandamaran, has already betrayed the voters' wishes. All his promises have been totally neglected. He has never kept his promise to my local, uh, you know, I am a local boy of Panamaran. And all my party support, supporters, when I was in Pitang for nearly 10 over years, called me back to say that they have been, uh, you know, cheated by this Ronnie Liu. And Ronnie Liu has never uh, done anything for them as promised. So under the invitation, I came here in the hope of replacing Ronnie Liu with some other nice local candidates. Unfortunately, the party's insistence is that they wanted to bring in another parachute candidate for that parachute candidate to make money. So I have taken the decision, although with heavy heart, to contest the Panamaran seat and to prove them that I am still viable active and I can still win the election. Now, now we Indians are being used like uh, curry leaves. They are using as curry leaves because the time has come. Those were the days when they were uh, suffering for ch Chinese support. But today when the Chinese support is strong, they are trying to belittle all the Indians, neglecting the Indians. Earlier, we Indians, were the one who worked so hard for the party. But now, since the uh, influx of this uh, MCA and Grakan, all these members, we are already being sidelined. And I won't be surprised, MCA can, I mean, DAP can replace MCA and become a sole uh, Chinese party. Because they are diverting from the multiracial much uh, racialism co concept that is what i see my chances of winning i can say 50 50 and i know how to do the campaigning and how to organize an election as i was the former election agents for nearly five or six uh, elections from 1974 I've got the expertise, I'm experienced, I know how to do my campaigning, I can do it by myself alone. Because when I was contesting in Samantha, I was the only speaker in all the Chiramas, no other speakers. I am going in as an independent candidate in my former constituency in the hope of helping my people. The policy of the DAP also, uh, uh, before when I was, uh, you know, joining the DAP, they say, land for the landers, houses for the homeless. Pakatan has ruled, slang off for the past five years, cow cow, what happened? How many houses have they given to the poor people and how many Lots of land have they given to the poor people. Ask them to name it. So this is what I will be fighting for like Amitwa. Amitwa was a peasant hero who fought for land for the lenders. And, and I am going to take his footstep. I am going to fight land for the lenders. No matter Chinese, Indian or Malay. As a socialist, to me, no racial barrier. Every race is equal. We are all brothers and sisters of this earth, Malaysia. We are Malaysian Malaysia. And I will still hold that principle. Fight for Malaysian Malaysia, land for the landless, and houses for the homeless. And uh, there are a lot of local issues which has been ignored.